in this lecture i am going to create a user timeline uh, it's uh, like uh, same as uh, the facebook user timeline i just want to explain the behavior of that timeline and i have created a nice timeline architecture using the bootstrap css and you can see yes this is title and text you can enter some uh, the title for the post and you can enter the text for the first and you can submit and it will display in this box right we will do the coding for this one and first i will go to the script file i have created uh, the application called app 30 and i'll create a controller here app dot controller my controller name i'll name as uh, user uh, just timeline controller function and i'm going to use scope right i have created a controller I want to assign this controller I'll assign this controller into the top into this top div area ng controller this is timeline controller right and I need to give the ng model I'll put uh, this one as post dot header and this text area ng model will be post dot comment and in the submit button I'll create ng click and the function will be submit data and I am going to submit this post object with submit data function I need to implement this submit data in the controller I will use scope submit data function and I am going to receive this post object right and now I need to submit this post detail into the database and for that we will write a factory inside of the same script file dot factory right my factory name will be update timeline function I am going to receive this post return function I am going to accept this post and inside of the factory I am going to use HTTP and the queue Different object equal q dot different and http i'm going to use post because i'm going to post this object and i'm going to use the link called home slash update timeline and i need to pass this object this post i will pass the post as post that's what it's going to accept and i need to write success need, if it is success function and the return is data i'm going to write deferred object and resolve 
data and data. Now I need to give if it is failed. Dot error. Right, different object dot resolve this time data will be false right and I need to return this default object with promise right inside of this submit data I'm going to call var result equal this update timeline factory right I'm going to pass first object here to use update timeline inside of the function I need to declare that in the controller header right then result dot then function will be output I just put uh, alert just to get this uh, data is posted and after that I am going to call the clear function post dot header just need to clear the header <coughs> post dot comment right I did the clear and now I need to load these details into the timeline for that I'll use the scope dot load timeline function For retrieve the data also I am going to write some uh, a factory I am going to copy this same factory and change the details this is not update timeline this will be load timeline the capital L I am going to use for a factory and uh, link will be load function I think you understood what I did I just need uh, a factory to load this data from the backend I just copied this update timeline factory and paste it here and change the name and the path and this time I do not need to pass any object here to the backend I have removed that one and now I am going to call load timeline result equal load timeline I need to define it in the top right and result but then function and I'm going to get the output here and I'm going to equal this output into array scope dot timeline this timeline will be my array it equal to output dot data and I'm going to use angular dot copy dot copy 
copy because this output dot data is type JSON right I have created the timeline array and after the data submit I need to call this load timeline right I use the function after the post right and I need to display this timeline in my HTML I'll go to the display area I have li to display this timeline and I'm going to use ng repeat right and I just use tm in timeline right I just used tm for a one timeline object I'm going to display this timeline tm dot header and in the here I need to display tm dot comment and I need to display date also in here I can display date tm dot post date actually post date automatically saved from the backend we are not passing here right I think we finished the application like a 90% right we will run the application and see I'll hit the refresh okay I'm going to add some data I just put this is my title in the text area I'll put this is my description area right right I'm going to post this data into the backend we will see data posted message comes yes you can see all the details comes from the backend I have some previously I have some data in the table all the things are coming when I did the first this is the one that I added just now and we will refresh this page and see yes there's nothing loaded because I didn't use ng int here I'm going to use ng init here I need to load existing post when I load the page use ng init right now we will refresh the page and see yes you can see when the page loads all the posts are loading right now we will do some the automatic processing thing we will use a timer actually not a timer we will use interval actually I need to refresh my page automatically within 30 seconds time uh, for that I'm going to call this load timeline function using interval interval and scope dot load timeline call within every 30 seconds actually 30 seconds is 30,000 milliseconds right we will refresh the page right I'm going to open new tab I'm going to copy the same link just imagine 
this is two users right the first user is here and the second user is in this second tab in the separate two locations and we will do some testing here we will wait till the load of the second tab right you can see the same data in the both the tabs and the first user is going to add some data here and first user is going to add I have first user and this is my content right I'm going to save this one right right I'm going to, I have posted and you can see it's in my timeline and I'm going to the second users page we will wait 30 seconds and see is it automatically refreshing yes I think you saw this one it automatically comes that first users thing as a second user timeline this is actually how the Facebook timeline and all the other the social and community networks timeline working background it refresh the database and retrieve the latest data and we will post some text as a second user and second user and this is my content I'll send it here right it sent successfully and you can see bottom I can see I am second user we will go to the first user timeline and wait few seconds and see yes you can see it refreshed and it automatically gets what that second user posted I think you understood about this whole concept I have created the timeline using bootstrap CSS and in the timeline I have created the uh, angular controller to control that timeline in the in the controller I have added the function to submit data into the backend I have used angular factory for that process and I have created the load timeline function and also I have used angular factory and I have used interval to automatically refresh the timeline actually these are very simple techniques you can do a lot of things in your projects using these type of things